Good morning, Assalamualaikum students. Can you hear me, everyone? Raise your hand if you can hear me. Okay, good. So, can you see the uh, picture of your book? Can you see the chapter? Chapter number one on the screen. I have shared the screen. screen. Can you see the picture? Okay. So take this chapter, unit number one, page number two. Everyone have books? And can you hear me clearly? So do you have books, everyone? Those who don't have books, they can uh, see the uh, screen sharing, which I have done. This is your unit number one. Your books has been changed. Your books are Oxford Pro Progressive English. Okay. Uh, who's raising hand? Isman Aslam. Yes, Peta. Okay, take out this book, page number two. Unit number one is expeditions. What does expedition means? This is your uh, learning and reading and listening chapter. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, I'm telling you orally, just write down the meanings of expedition. Take your pencils in your hands and if you don't have books just take out any page and write down things which i am noting to you people okay if you don't have books just don't worry take out your any uh, take out your any copy and write down the meanings and things which i am explaining right now okay so our chapter is expeditions what does expedition means an organized journey for a particular purpose. An organized journey for a particular purpose. When you go on a journey, uh, it, it could be any journey, you just organize your trip. You backpack your things, you take your important things with you, whether you are going for hiking, mountaining, or any other trip you are going, you just backpack your things, you take all your important things with you, and then you go on a trip. So expedition is an organized journey for a particular purpose, okay? And so the unit number one, lesson number one. So in this uh, book, we have units and we have sub lessons of each unit. For example, this is unit number one, and it has five lessons in it. No, so now we are doing lesson number one. Can you see the lesson number one heading, listen and speak? Can you see the picture clearly? Okay. Unit number one and our lesson number one is speak, listen and speak. Talk about the picture, what have they just done? So look at this picture number one and see what is written here. He is just broken his spade. What is spade? Anyone of you know spade? What is spade? Look at the picture. The man in white shirt and blue pants. Dialogue number one. He is just broken his spade. Swan, beta, unmute yourself. Teacher, this is Kulhari. No, this is not Kulhari, and you don't call it Kulhari. This is a tool with a sharp no. edge. Gigi. This is a tool with a sharp edge. Teacher, shovel, shovel, shovel. Yes, kind of shovel. Yes, it is a kind of shovel through which we dig out the sand. 
Yes. Yeah. So he has broken, he has just broken his spade. Now look at this picture number two. What he is doing? He is just hurt his finger with a hammer. He was, uh, he's using hammer and he has just hurt his finger with a hammer. Look at this picture number three. You have to do nothing with it. You just have to listen and speak. So don't get confused with what teacher is saying. I'm just reading these sentences, which are just for your practice to listen and to speak. Now look at this picture number three. The man in yellow and white shirt. Yes, Mubara. Yes, Peta. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, what is spade? I've just told you it is a tool with a sharp edge through which we dig sand. A tool with a sharp edge. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, number three. Look at picture number three. The man with yellow pants and white shirt. He is just found. He has just found a coin. Can you see coin in his hand? I will just zoom the picture. Look at this picture. He has coin in his hand. Can you see it? Turn on your camera, yeah. Dayan. Where is your camera, Usman? Please turn on your cameras. You're supposed to turn on your cameras. Hosan Rahman, Rayan. And who is this Maham Fahad? Sharjeel, Ibrahim. Turn on your cameras, beta, please. Alifia, turn on your camera, beta. He's just found a coin. Now look at picture number four. What she's doing, she has just dropped her knife. Can you see the knife which is behind her? Okay, now look at picture number five. She is just, she has just put up a clothesline. Can you see what she is doing in this picture? She is putting up clothesline. She is putting clothes on this. And look at picture number six. She is just, she has just cut her hand while cutting this fish she has just cut her hand and picture number seven he has just lit a fire what does lit mean what does lit mean can anyone tell me letting a fire what does it mean yes rayan No, to put a bujhana uh, to put a fire, to light a fire. Yes, Usman. Yes. See in the picture, na, he is not is hai se aag lag He is putting a fire and try to speak in English Peta Tika. See in the picture, na? look at the picture, look at the picture, what he is doing. He is rubbing two stones. He with... is He is firing the wood and putting fire. He is, he is putting fire. Yes. He is trying to put on fire or lit a fire to light a fire. Now, what is uh, in picture number eight? Look at picture number eight. What he is doing? 
he has just fallen off a cliff he is climbing a cliff and he has just fallen off that cliff now what is cliff teacher pahari choti wali choti yes. pahari yes it is a kind of steep rock uh, steep rock fast faced at the edge of the sea at the edge of the sea theek hai now if we were in school so we have made two teams student from team a and student from team b so we would have done this practice that uh, some of you some of you have done this practice of asking the questions and then replying them for example look at this practice questions and replies what it is can you play basketball today so what he is answering in the next dialogue what is in the next dialogue sorry i have just hurt my finger look at the uh, uh, second dialogue can i borrow your dictionary and what he is answering sorry i have just lent it to somebody so if i ask you a question how you will answer me if i say uh if i let's say uh, let's suppose i say can i borrow your ruler what you will give me answer who will answer me of this question abdullah unmute yourself beta okay and tell me abdullah if i ask you can i borrow your ruler what you will uh, give me your answer sorry my mother don't say to don't buy my mother don't allow me theek okay? hai okay anyone else uh, okay usman if i ask you can i borrow your ruler what you will answer me teacher i'll say yes the same complete sentence now but you have to uh, make some um uh, uh you have to make some excuse or you have to uh, say you do you, you have don't have to accept that that okay. you will give it theek okay? hai okay it just broken it is just broken yes you have to answer you just don't have to answer yes and no you have to give complete answer for example if i say uh can i borrow can i use your computer fatma just answer me one minute let me unmute you yes fatma if i say can i use your computer what you will say that it uh, that it does not have enough battery for using it oh computer don't run on battery uh, you will say i am running out of electricity ibrahim turn on your camera ozan turn on your camera beta yes mubara yes teacher मैंने वो कंप्यूटर वाला बताना है यस टीचर सॉरी इट इज नॉट वर्किंग यस सॉरी इट इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके करेक्ट यस अलीफिया वेयर इज योर कैमरा अलीफिया टर्न ऑन योर कैमरा टीचर इट इज नॉट वर्किंग इट इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके जस्ट टेल मी कैन आई यूज योर कंप्यूटर हाउ यू विल रिप्लाई फॉर इट Sorry, but I. Sorry, but I give it to some other someone else. So, sorry, but someone else is using. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice try. Okay. Next is. Uh, can we go to the park? Arshman. Unmute yourself and give me answer. 
Wait, uh, Usman, let me ask him. Arshman, unmute yourself. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, the question is, can we go to the park? How you will answer it? Yes. We let's go to the park. Park. Yes, we can go to the park. Park. Yes. Okay. So uh, the next question and the last question is Can we go boating? Yes, Usman. Sorry, but I lost my fishing rod. Okay, correct. Yes, uh, who is this? Amna. Assalamualaikum, teacher. Waalaikum assalam, Amna. Can we go boating? Yes, Abbas. Can we go boating? Turn on your camera. Teacher, I have a mobile speaker. I have to go to the school. I have to go to the school. I have to go Okay, no problem. Just tell me uh, what I am asking the question. Uh, can we go boating? What answer you will give? So, I need to prepare my English test. Yes, very good. Teacher, I was first page or second page? This is first page, unit number one. Page number two it is. Look, uh, can you see the screen? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, just take out page number two, unit number one. Okay, now uh, we will go on next page. Take out the next page of your books. Next page, hurry up. Just give me one second. Next page is of exercises. Can you see the picture? Can you see picture of page number three? Okay, take out this page. Now this is a uh, lesson number two started. Look, look at the heading, unit number one, lesson number two, word. Do you understanding? Now this is lesson two. We have started lesson number two. Yes, beta. Shuman, unmute yourself. Yes, teacher. Do you have any question? You have raised your hand. No, teacher. Okay. Okay, now look at this. Uh, we have just 15 minutes left. Look at this exercise. Listen and find the words, then listen and repeat. These are words given here in these pictures. Number one is can opener. Number two is sledge. Number three is backpack. Number four is pay pack. Number five is ice axe. Number six, compass. Number seven is stove. Number eight, sleeping bag. Now you have to fill in these blanks by using these words. Okay. Complete the sentences with words from exercise one. 
number one a dash shows you where the note is what you will write here compass p o m p a w -S, s compass the spellings are given in the picture number 6 have you done everyone number 1 is compass c o m p a w -S, s number 2 if you camp in the mountains you need a dash warm you need a warm dash at the night time what it is sleeping bag picture number 8 spellings are given on picture number 8 sleeping bag number 3 most most uh, campers carry a small dash for cooking meals stove aayega yahan pe for in number 3 you will write stove kubara are you getting it or not okay stove in number 3 write stove picture number 7 s t o v e stove number 4 a dash holds everything that you need for a week's holiday. Backpack. Write backpack. B A C K bag. B A C K bag. Backpack. Picture number three it is. Number five. A dash holds a few things that you need for a trip. Day pack. D A Y day. P A C K pack. Day pack. Number six. Wait, Abdullah, just uh, let me complete this, then I will unmute you, Abdullah. Number six, you use a dash. It is can opener. You use a can opener to open a can of fish, which is picture number one, can opener. Number seven, to cut. Steps in the ice, mountaineers need an ice axe. Ice axe is used in the region where it is too much cold and ice. So you will write ice axe in number seven. Number eight, you use a dash to pull people or goods across snow or ice. It is Sledge, S L E D G E. It is a vehicle to carry people or things over the snow. Okay, sledge is used in a places to carry people or things where this there is a lot of snow. So, uh, just note down your homeworks, everyone. Note down your homework. Please, for next uh, class, be prepared with your pencils and your registers or copies. Note down your homework, Sarya. Do these exercises two, three, and four. Do these exercises two, three and four on book page number three. Do these exercises two, three and four on book page number three. You have to do these exercises on book. 